so it was definitely time to do my nails. They'd grown out more than two weeks, and also that was me demonstrating how like tough it was getting for me to type on my phone because of the shape of my thumb and the way the nail like kind of gets in the way of tapping on the phone. So anyway, it was time to do it. Many of you have expressed curiosity on how I handle my nails and my cuticles, so I thought I'd just show you. Usually I trim them before I sand the polish off, but I just wasn't in the mood, so I did it all sanding first and then cutting afterward. It can kind of be hard to gauge the correct length when I'm cutting it before sanding it, so this time I just decided to do that. Um, the cuticles that I have are, grow very similar to the callus. They grow up the side of the nail and along the bottom pretty thick and pretty fast just like my regular nails this is what it looks like after I have done the sanding um, and I will come in with another tool in a minute and do like all the details around the cuticles but um, I don't know if this is correct don't take this as advice but I just do it this way because it works and a lot of questions have come in asking if I've ever gone to a nail salon and whether I'm like comfortable with that. And actually, I've had great experiences at lots of different nail salons. However, usually I would do my cuticles like with a cuticle pusher and cuticle scissors and trim up my fingertips before I went to the nail salon because in my experience, nail techs generally don't really know how to handle my skin. And when they start trying to clip it back and help me out, they tend to go too deep or they don't really understand what the skin is all about and they can make it uncomfortable for me so I usually do that part myself if I'm going to go get them done in a salon but over the years I've just gotten really into doing my own nails I'm kind of a fan of DIY and I think it's fun and allows me to work on my fingertips and stuff too so I just do it myself I was trying to keep this length that I cut here because that's typically about how short I will cut them when I redo them but I had that one split that was going on and once I tried to like shape it a little bit before repairing it it just started to break off so I decided we were just gonna go super short this time although I did keep the rest of them a little bit longer than that one thumb which had to be pretty short I do do gel nails. I don't soak them off because I absolutely hate soaking my fingertips in acetone. And because my nails with this condition grow so thick and fast, um, I have not noticed any damage or trouble with my nails sanding the polish off. So I just do. Your, mile, bleh, your mileage may vary. I also wanted to address a lot of questions about my fingernails being possibly clubbed. And you should know that they're not. Um, because of the extreme volume of comments saying that to me, I did happen to have an annual exam with my physician recently and I brought it up with her and asked, do these look club to you? Like I do have a history of heart disease in my family, but they've also the one, my index finger and my middle finger on both my hands curved down way more than the other nails. And it's been that way since I was a kid. So I was just like, maybe we should look at this. I don't know. And so we did, we did some, um, blood tests. We did a CT scan. She looked at all of my scores and I'm fine. So now you can rest easy. These are my hands um, three weeks almost out from shaving. Ne this coming Tuesday will be three weeks and man do they need to be done. So I'll be doing that really soon, probably tomorrow.